Hello everyone, my name is Andrea and thank you for joining me back in the Babe Cave today. We have a sponsored video today and I am happy and thankful for Quince, uh, Quince handbags for uh, supporting my channel and uh, sending this bag so I can share with you all. So if you're interested in knowing what I got in here, then you need to wait and see and I will show you right away. Before I get to the unboxing bag of the day, is the tote bag from my other sponsored video and as you can see I've cleaned it up it looks really good just give you the bag of the day that I'm currently in and there will be a what's in my bag soon but on to the reveal of what is in here <laughs> so again the company is called Quince handbags and their motto is quality, st sustainability, and affordability. So those are things that I like and I approve of because, you know, not everything quality has to cost a fortune like in luxury. And it still can be luxurious at an affordable price. So, sorry, that's my notes. <laughs> so anyway, without further ado... I'll kind of describe what I got, um, but I'll open it. It comes packaged in here. It's packaged nicely. It's 100% Italian calf skin leather. So I'll try to hold this at the same time. So let me, it's in a plastic bag here. Get rid of that. But yeah, so it came in here. And let me get it out of this plastic. It came with a dust bag. As you can see, it's just a, a black dust bag. And I already peeked because, well, I couldn't help myself. <laughs> so let me get it out for you while I kind of explain more. So I actually got a bigger bag. Are we surprised? So yeah, it's a hobo. And the color is stone. It's kind of an off-white material. And again, it's 100% calfskin Italian leather. So these are made, handcrafted in Florence, Italy. So yeah, just give you a little, little up close and personal there's the gold hardware the adjustable strap get that zoomed in here and then yeah it's a hobo bag i wanted a hobo i've been searching for a hobo and i will do mod shots so stay tuned a little bit um, after this and i will do some mod shots as well and this says Everything about this feels right. Quality, price, st sustainability. <laughs> if I can say sustainability. <laughs> so yeah, again, it's a leather bag. It comes with one, two, three, four adjustments for your shoulder. Uh, let me give you some measurements of it. This is from their website. It says nine and a half up height by 15.75 yeah it's not a small bag <laughs> and then i guess you can fill it up 2.75 depth now let's see what the shoulder is going to be so on this is on the this is on the longest shoulder drop which is as you can see, nine, which is a really nice, and plus it'll end up like becoming a little slouchy bag. And again, this color is stone 
for color reference, I wanted to pull out my Coach Cherries in the chalk with the cherries and compare it to the stone, which is like a more off-white color, but very neutral all at the same time. So, yeah, there's the comparison. This is, chalk is a whole lot more white than this color. And then also, I brought out Bone in Dooney and Burke to compare those two, which Dooney and Burke's is a little more cream, and this one's a little more grayish. So I'm just trying to explain the color stone. Hopefully that is helpful. And they had a brown, a black, and stone, and I... I forget the other color, but I will have my link down below so you can check out their website. And this hobo, Italian leather, is $99. So grab you one. <laughs> it is a good size. So I've shown you the outside. Here's a closer, it's like an off-white pebble, you know, calfskin leather. There's that side and that side's the same. So let's, and this is easy to adjust, which I like. So has a little leather zipper pull. And the interior is completely stuffed. So give me just one second. The interior is a cotton canvas material. So interior looks like this. And it just has the, the logo right here. Hopefully that's in focus, says Quince. And 100% Italian leather made in Italy. So yeah, I like that you can buy a bag that's full leather, top grain leather, calfskin leather for that kind of price. And this is the little tag that's inside. It says our bags, our bag are made with genuine leather and for this reason, some imperfections or color variations are characteristics of the natural beauty of Italian leathers. Which, as you, many of you who have Dunies know that Florentine leather is made in Italy and that also has some variations of color in their leather. So I completely understand this. But yeah, it has one slip pocket. It's huge. It's, it's really big inside. There's one little loose string. But yeah, it's just a cream, you know, off-white color inside as well. So you'll be able to see all your, all your stuff inside. Just to demonstrate how big this bag is for you, I threw in a couple of items. <laughs> that most of you are familiar with. I put in my Coach boxy case, my Dooney and Burke kiss lock, my Dooney and Burke coin case, and finally my Coach cherries from the outlet pencil case. So yeah, this fits a whole lot. I mean, you can fit a bunch of pouches in it, and th there's still room for more stuff. But yeah, the zipper is a little wonky. In my opinion, that's the only downside that I'm seeing so far. It's just, I think the shape makes it a little harder, being like this, like a hobo style. But I really want to use it more to give you a review uh, and update on the zipper. Um, whether I need to wax it or if, you know, I need to reach out to them. But it does zip up, but it's a little bit tricky. So I've heard of people putting wax on here to, um, you know, make those a smoother zipper. But um, let me know if you have any tips or tricks for the zipper. <laughs> but it opens just fine. It's just a little bit tricky zipping it back. So 
that's the only thing I'm seeing right now. But after uh, I do a what's in my bag and a review of carrying it a few days and see what I what I think, then I'll get back to you on that. So. Okay, so upon further investigation of this zipper, I reached out to the representative, which was really, really nice. And it's not up to their quality of their craftsmanship. So she resent me the bag because that zipper I could not get to close. So this is my replacement, same exact color. Um, you know, the shape of this bag is so slouchy that you kind of got to break in the zipper as it is, but it, when it's sagging like this, it's a little bit tricky, but I just wanted to show you an update here of me opening it. Same exact bag, just the other one maybe had a, a wonkier zipper, um, so I've played with this a lot. So let me show you the zipper again of my replacement bag. Opens up fine. And then let's zip it back. Let me. But being a hobo and it's so soft and it's the calf skin. See, I got it to close. You kind of have to be aware of the zipper, but this one is not as it's not as bad to zip as that one that I had before. I just wanted to make you aware that it's a little it's because of the shape of this bag that makes it a little tricky now it is just a little bit of stuffing inside still but it's extra slouchy it's beautiful and I wanted to add also that it is free shipping and free returns so if you do get this bag and there's a defect of maybe the zipper or you know any kind of defect on any other bags you can have a you can get a free return on it so there is my update for the zipper so i looked at reviews on a bunch of their bags before i picked this hobo style and this had five stars like more than any of their other bags so that's why i kind of one, I wanted a hobo bag and I wanted a bigger bag, but also I wanted to look at the reviews because I hadn't heard of this company before. And the only reason I have found it was on Instagram. I don't know if you all have seen them roll through their your Instagram, but that's how I found them. Um, again, you know, adjustable strap. And I like that they create a quality product that is more affordable that's I think a lot of my viewers appreciate a little more affordable so let me give you some mod shots and again this is on the this is the longest so let's try that first yeah it fits over the shoulder fine can hold it down like this if you want to. Cute. And then again, here's the close up of it, like on my shoulder. That's a good drop, so I don't know. Does it, it passes the elbow test? Because it's a slouchy type of material bag. So yeah, here it is up close. The stitching looks nice. I'm just trying to. And then there's some piping there that looks good on the edge of the bag. It's very well made. So it, this one is the stone color. So if you want to use my link down below, feel free. Uh, it will show you what all kinds of bags that they have right now. And I can't wait to move into this one. And thank you again, Quince, for sponsoring today's video. So... Next up will be what's in my bag, my quince bag. And again, this is called the Italian leather shoulder bag in the color stone. Affordable and 100% Italian leather. <laughs> so anyway, I appreciate the bag. And if you, again, want to check out my link down below, then go ahead and check it out. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye.